Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to All Beer Inside Quarantine Edition of the episodes. I'm your not so humble host, Carp, and joining me today on All Beer Inside, we have uh, Joshua, also known as Crafty Beardner. How's it going, guys? Going well. Thanks for uh, taking the time out of your schedule today to speak with us. Uh, we always appreciate anybody who's more than willing to speak with us. Uh, as we do virtually, let my audience know what you're drinking. Uh, tonight, having from the uh, Five Paddles Brewing Co., the Fantastic Void. It's a golden or sour golden ale. Very nice. I have one of my few remaining Toronto beers from Black Lab Brewing. Bark twice if you're Not in Milwaukee. Good choice. Yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of Black Lab, personally. I know you're in Ontario. I'm not sure where in Ontario. So I'm just outside of, like, the, the greater Toronto area, but okay. it, it's not far. Oh, awesome. Cool. Uh, so that's great to hear. Uh, so uh, let's uh, do a virtual toast here. Let's uh, make sure I rep them. <laughs> a toast. Toast. Okay, let's see. Ah, I never get a good sound. I think I might just have to download a clip. <laughs> mm. Oh, that is super tasty and crushable mm -hmm. for almost 7%. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, that's the problem. There, there are some uh, of the ones that are so high, you're like, how is this 8.5%? Oh, yeah, I had a couple of double IPAs the other night, and I'm like, hey, I'm drunk. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah well, I guess it's time to go to bed. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Uh, so uh, once again, thank you. And... Uh, why crafty beer nerd like what brought you to instagram uh it was just my my personal instagram before and then when when covid kind of shut everything down i had a little extra time to myself so i was just posting some beers that i was drinking every night and then one of my buddies was like hey can you uh can you review one of these beers like every day indefinitely and i go sure why not so then I just kept getting some more beers that I hadn't had before from different breweries around. And then I just kept adding some more descriptions of what it tastes like, what, what I think it pairs well with. Most of the time it's what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. um, and then it just kind of grew organically. And then, you know, people started following me and I was like, hmm, that's, that's odd. I guess I'm doing something, right? And then uh, a couple months down the road, I said, oh, I, I got to gotta change the name because it was just JS937. And it's like, <laughs> what's that? So changed it to the, the Crafty Beer Nerd. And here we are. Awesome. Yeah. Crafty Beer Nerd, like you can see in the Instagram, it is very, uh, you have action figures. Yeah. As you show in the background, uh, your action figures. Uh, I find you, uh, you have a good pace of changing things up. It's not just like action figure with a beer. Uh, like you said, it's food, it's this, and your descriptions are very, you're almost like uh, one of my first uh, YouTube interviews with Hop Citizen. It's the same thing where reading your description almost gives me the image and, and the taste, like the imaginary taste on my palate of, of what I should be getting, which is, I, I always love hearing that kind of stuff. So Yeah, because like you, you imagine like when you, you go, when you used to go out to a restaurant and order food and they would give you a description. And, you know, when, with those description words, you can all, you can pretty much taste it in your mouth. So I, I try and do the same with, with my beers and give a, a variety of different looks and angles and whatnot to give the, the eye a nice, nice change of pace than just a, a straight glass. And, yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. And like I said, it's fantastic reading and, and it makes me want to get out to the Toronto area and surrounding, obviously, Ontario uh, when it's safe to again to drink some tasty beers. So that's uh, uh, I, I honestly I, I use you guys for the interviews, but as well for recommendations, which is always great. So, and, yeah, uh, I also have like people asking me now, what what beer should I should I get from the Durham area? And I was like, oh, OK, well, you got to go here and there and these five places so uh yeah that that's awesome to hear uh, i love it and and it's all about supporting local which is even more important um so why crafty beer nerd why not like joshua drinks craft or josh drinks or anything like that i believe most of those were already taken so i was just trying to find something that kind of represented me so you know the beer the nerd part's pretty self-explanatory then crafty you can see with some of the earlier things that i had some more time so i was making you know pickled vegetables and uh, hot sauce mm -hmm. so i felt it all kind of meshed together pretty well 
Yeah, and and it's nice that you know I know I've heard beer snob, but I hear beer geek a lot. Mm-hmm. So you know, geekdom nerd. It, it's kind of it all joins together where you know it's more of a wine snob. I've never heard wine geek. Yeah, in any way. Um, and well, if you're a connoisseur of like whiskeys and stuff, you're a connoisseur, which sounds like high class. You're not yeah, yeah. a whiskey nerd or a whiskey yeah. geek. So, um, you know, in crafts for everyone, the way I see it, uh, no matter what the craft is, it's like you said, you're you're doing crafts, you're you're making hot sauce, you're you're making other things. So it's the crafty parts there. Obviously, your your action figures in the background, which is great. I've I've got some. I don't have a lot. I have my pop <laughs> figures. This is, this is the, the side, only area so. that I'm allowed to keep them out <laughs> in the house. So. Yeah, there it's great. There are a lot more under the stairs. Ah, okay. I completely get that. Yeah, that's only a small selection of, of my physical media. So <laughs> it's great. Awesome. Uh, do you remember how you discovered craft beer? Yes. Uh, so I was at work one day and a coworker of mine was chatting me up and he asked me, what, what beers do you drink? And I was like, oh, you know, uh, you know, Canadian Coors, MGD, you know, the huge. Mm-hmm. And he's like, you need to try, try, try some beers some, that I get. And I go, okay. So he he brought me a four pack from Left Field, and I I brought them home. And I said, oh, this is a very interesting can. I I cracked them open, and I, and each one I had a there was an IPA, two double IPAs, and a sour. And each one of them, I was like, <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> What, what is this? It's not the beer I've been drinking. And like the, you know, the blinders are off and I was like, oh man. So, so we started a, a beer exchange program. So I'd bring him beers from the Durham area and he'd bring me beers from to the Toronto area. And that's, that's how it started. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. Like, yeah, I've, uh, a friend got me in and then I've gotten other friends in, um, it's funny, like I've done courses and stuff. So whenever I, I'm, I'm a little snooty about stuff, they're like, you've taken four courses and you're like this, <laughs> like four more courses than you've taken. So, <laughs> but it, it is a passion of mine. You know, it's uh, I've said it before. It's got to try and drink them all. I'd like to try all the beer in the world. Obviously, it would have been nice to have started in my 20s instead of my mid 20, late 20s to early 30s. But it's uh that's the way it is. So. Yeah, I, I'm definitely, definitely behind. And one of my friends was like, well, what happens if you, you try all the beers? I was like, there's no way I would ever be able to finish all the beers. I was like, I haven't even scratched the surface yet. Yeah. I mean, just Quebec and Ontario alone, it, it's going to take a lifetime. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. But it's it's good. And, um, you know, we're, we're keeping these guys alive during COVID, COVID times. Uh, you're lucky enough in Ontario to get beer deliveries. Uh, I am very, very lucky. Yeah, we're we can order online for pickup at the brewery, but that's all. That's the only option we have in Quebec right now, which is unfortunate. And, and but we do have beer stores versus your LCBOs, so, mm-hmm. which is always like, nice. M- most of the the Durham region ones, like if you put in a, a minimum order, which isn't very much, like they'll, they'll deliver to you for free. Yeah. So it's they've been they've been doing a great job. Oh, that's that's awesome to hear and and you do have a you know a premier who supports the craft industry from what i've seen um just toronto region alone i think there's like 67 breweries now so it's yeah uh, it's insane every time you look another one pops up yeah yeah especially now uh i'm sure you've seen our previous interview with third moon it's like we opened during the pandemic yeah what a what a time to open eh? and they were named one of the top 10 breweries in the world Crazy. recently so that's that's amazing i love seeing that stuff um when it comes to your instagram what what was the original kind of inspiration what do you look for when you when you're taking that photo that you're like i said you're constantly changing things up do you kind of have a list of what you're doing or you're just like today's action figure tomorrow's food the next day is this like where, where does that all come from it, it's it's very i'd say 95 percent of the time it's organic it's like okay i'm having a beer what can i take a picture with and sometimes i'm like oh i got some cashews or sometimes i'm like oh i just made a nice quesadilla or sometimes i'm like hey uh let's bring wolverine out you know <laughs> um the very very odd that i'll i'll plan something but there are like ones like uh there's i had a beer and i had a fish on it, so i took it down to the beach and took a, bit, a picture with that so that, that's that's as far as I really go. Like that, one of the other ones I have um, from All or Nothing, and it's called Beaten Odds. And my son wanted to play uh, Go Fish, and I was like, um, I was gonna crack the beer, and then I go, you know, give me those cards for a second. I just <laughs> put them down on the table, 
<laughs> okay, we can play now. So uh, it's that's that <laughs> it's so original because you just like ah, spur of the moment. Let's do it. Yeah, this is yeah. a great photo, and uh, you know just just your follower count alone that you're able to do a give. You were able to do a giveaway recently because you're you know you're you're showing your love for your followers, which is great. So. And supporting, letting let's say someone well, someone who wins gets to try some beers they've never had before. Yeah. Maybe they they come back. So exactly. So that's even better. Uh, I like to hear that. So I mean, reading your descriptions and stuff. Have you done a Pudam or um, a Cicerone course, or or you ever think of doing it? I have not yet, but when I have some more time and some more disposable income, I would definitely like to try that out. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I'd I'd love to. I personally don't find i have the palette for it the i can't describe it i'll be like it's citrusy that's what i get i don't get <laughs> specific fruits like you do um i think they're called super tasters you may be one of them where your palate is a lot more open and explosive than other people's ours well um, like i i work in a kitchen so i get to taste a lot of different foods so that's kind of where that comes from as well oh uh, yeah there you go i mean food and beer alone just the food and beer pairing people are doing now at restaurants. Um, when I was in Toronto, I think it was Alpine I went to and they had like, Oh, here's our suggested three beers with this food and craft beer markets yeah. the same. So that's, that's awesome that you already kind of have that built in palate association to, to what beer style it should go with. I really like to hear that. So that's awesome. Uh, I, I mean, you're still pretty fresh, you know, Instagram and blogger. Uh, have you collabed with any breweries yourself to to create the, the label? Uh, no, again, it's not probably the best time during COVID to, to, to do these things. But hopefully when things get better, we, um, I would love to maybe collab with like All or Nothing. They, they, they've uh, liked a lot of my photos and reused a few of them. So I would definitely like to get in there behind the scenes, maybe brew a beer with them. So that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, beercations that you want to go on that, like, I've been adding this one where, you know, you have to have budget, but one where you don't have a budget. What are a couple of beercations that you'd love to do when it's safe to travel again? Uh, beercation on a budget, come see you in Montreal, check out the Montreal bar scene, go see a Habs game, get some poutine, <laughs> some, you know, some bagels, some Montreal smoked meat. Yeah, we, we are a little spoiled when it comes to that kind of stuff with uh, with smoked meat and puts in, uh, especially puts in uh, the day of our recording. It's actually about to be puts in week might be a little oh. different this year, but uh, at like 50 restaurants across the city. all do a different kind of puts in uh, last year before the world shut down. I had a uh, mac and cheese chicken popcorn puts in. Oh, so that sounds fantastic. Yeah. It's uh, if you're ever out this way, that's that's the thing you got to do is grab some craft beer, eat a couple of puts in. <laughs> so, definitely, definitely. That's awesome. And, and unlimited budget. No money is no factor. Where are you going? Unlimited. We'll do a nice uh, circuit of Europe. You know, like uh, Ireland, get some some nice uh, brews there. Oktoberfest in Germany, you know, drink some beers with some monks. You know, sky's yeah. the limit. I'd love yeah. it. Yeah, I'm a bit like, I'm all about trying to drink beer with people who look like me, who, <laughs> you know, bald beard. So it's uh, it's the same thing that show Bruce Brothers. It's like as as not great as it was, they had monks drinking with them. I'm like, that's what I want. So cool. I love that idea. Uh, yeah, that sounds amazing. I'm the same. Uh, Europe. I'd love to go to South Africa, but they have an alcohol ban, unfortunately, due to COVID. So cool. I don't know what's happening <laughs> there i don't even know if those guys are going to survive which is really unfortunate yeah like for, I, I mean they're their beverage industry not not themselves <laughs> that just sounds bad <laughs> um do you brew on your own at all do you homebrew or is there uh, of, no no my, my wife would not allow that i also have two children so i if i spent more time with brewing beer than my children then i would just <laughs> be married to to brewing beer <laughs> Hey kids, Daddy brewed a two percent today. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Could you see yourself doing it in the future when kids are a little older? And... Yeah, yeah, definitely. When when they're older and uh, they don't want to play card games with me anymore, um, yeah, I would definitely like to, you know, get a couple guys together. We can go into somebody's garage and 
have a brew day and I think that'd be great. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so you mentioned you're in the Durham region. I don't think, I know I've been through it. I don't think I visited it. Uh, let's say I make my way out to Durham when the numbers are a lot lower and some outdoor patios are open. We're like some five places that I definitely got to check out in your area. Top five, uh, you're going to go to uh, Town Brewery. That's in Whitby. Um, probably hands down the best hazy IPAs in Ontario next to Third Moon. Um, Second, you're going to go to Five Paddles. Uh, the place is very cool. It's like somebody's tricked out basement. Like they got uh, some movie theater chairs. There's a Nintendo Entertainment System in the back. You can play some Super Mario 3. Um, you're going to go to All or Nothing. They got a really, really big place. It used to be an old um, beer store that they turned into a brewery. They usually have like uh, food trucks there every week. Or you can order pizza and bring it there and eat on, on the patio. Um, if you want like a, a really good lager, you're going to go to Fort Perry. You're going to go to Old Flame. They make the best lagas. Um, if you want like a, a Saison, you're going to go to Little Beasts. They also do really good stouts. Um, and then Falcon Brewery and Ajax, they, they do pretty much a, a good job of every European brew that you've had there. Very nice. Sounds awesome. Uh, I'll definitely have to check those places out 100% for sure. Uh, now you mentioned in your profile, uh, my journey to taste as many delicious Canadian craft brews as possible reviews road trips. Uh, so I want to get on road trips when you, when you're planning a previous to COVID, obviously when you're planning road trips, how do you find yourself going about those? And obviously, you know, we highly suggest never drink and drive. So do you, like, do you take a couple hours? Do you space it out? Like, how do you do your beer road trips? So usually uh, I, I try and get some some buddies along. So like one of us will drive while the other ones have a good time. And then they, they buy some beers for, for, the, for the gentleman that's driving. Mm -hmm. But I, I try and hit up, uh, if I'm going out of town, uh, you know, two or three that are within the same area. Um, but usually it's just a local one with some of the guys have a nice time, sit down, you know, catch up and enjoy some brews. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, do you ever, uh, like you're in Durham, so uh, you're pretty close to Buffalo, I'm guessing? Um, it's probably about two hours away. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. I, I personally, you know, Montreal's two hours from Vermont. So, and Vermont's one of the best brew cities on the East Coast. Um, have you done a Buffalo road trip or, or were you not really into craft, but I'm going to say the last time you may have visited. Yeah. Last time I had visited there, I wasn't the, the only place I visited for craft beer would be uh, in Pompano beach in Florida. This uh, 26 degrees brewing. Phenomenal. But next time, uh, next time that it's safe to <laughs> travel then yes i would definitely want to check out vermont here they have some excellent beers i heard you had to wait in line for 45 minutes just to get a beer at one place so. yes that is hill farm said and i was told that was a slow day um <laughs> slow day. so yeah there was the people in front of me were from jersey which isn't bad and the people behind me were from philadelphia i'm like huh yeah, and, and then I hear French everywhere because you know we're from Quebec and Vermont's two hours away. It's mm -hmm. uh, Hill Farmstead is is literally it's a dirt road that you're down, and these guys are consistently rated one of the best breweries in America. What else? Uh, yeah, so the action figures. What what made you start your your kind of action figure collection? Obviously, you've been a comic book fan a long time, I'm guessing, or is it just? Yeah, I've been a, a big you know comic book slash car cartoons. You know, Saturday morning cartoons. You know, you had you know, X-Men and all those guys. And I got hooked and I just, it's just something that I kept enjoying as I got older. And uh, one of my buddies at work, he was like, Hey, uh, you should throw one of those action figures in with your, your beers. And I go, that's a good idea. I like, I like where you're thinking. And that's uh, just, that's how it goes. Yeah, no, like uh, you're, there's two there. The one with storm with the beer that's like full of lightning bolts like that is that is perfect set up uh, how, yeah. how that that came to it. and it was you know a little little wintry outside <laughs> so exactly it's, it's right <laughs> yeah. uh and you also do the dog photos uh are those your dogs or are those friends dogs or, or uh that's all my dog it's it's just sometimes she gets a haircut and sometimes she doesn't so it, it, it she may look a little different in each each photo but uh 
she she doesn't mind if she's my my companion when I'm all alone and having a beer by myself late at night. But so she she doesn't mind. Does the dog have an Instagram? Uh no. Uh, <laughs> I, I only have enough time for myself. I, I don't have time for for the dog I have an yeah. Instagram as well. I'm sure I'm sure she would also overtake me in followers in a very short period of time. Yeah, that's that's the worst part. I I have a friend who who has a dog Instagram and the dog has four times the amount of followers and he's just it's like i don't get it i'm like that's the way it is man yeah. people love dogs and cats yeah like it's see you have a you have a fur baby people are going to go for the fur baby before before yourself so that's what it is oh that's that's awesome uh, like i said I, I love your setups and uh this the associations the creativity behind your instagram is really amazing uh i'm i'm a big fan of of what you do uh, and I, I honestly look forward to uh, seeing this in action in real life in the future when we can all safely get together and drink some beer. So definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, where do you see what's going next for, for your Instagram? Like where, where you got more posts in the future plans. Um, obviously you said everything's organic, but h- how do you see it going from here? Um, so I, I'm trying to, you know, get myself on the other side of the camera. So this was a, a perfect opportunity that that came my way that you messaged me. I was like, oh, you, sure, I, I'll, I'll give this a try. Um, so yeah, I'm trying that. Uh, hopefully um, some of the other Instagrammers in, in the Durham region, we have like a little beer group now. So whenever one of us is going out of town to, to pick up some beers or we're ordering from a different place, we would say, hey, you know, you, you guys want anything? Let me know. And then that way we all don't have to pay a $15, you know, shipping fee. So yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And, and I'll keep that in mind. I'll have to message everybody when I make my way out. Uh, well, out West for me, it's not really, yeah. you know, it's a six hour drive to Toronto on, on a slow day. Uh, yeah. So it's like, I might have to send a message to be like, what breweries am I bringing guys? So I can bring exactly. you all some beer. So, and then uh, I mean, I, our last Toronto trip, the the six quick episodes we did, I bought way too much beer that I only just kind (laughs) of ran out of it like a month and a half ago. And I'm lucky enough that, you know, Ottawa is a hop, skip and a jump away. And one of the best LCBOs in, in Eastern Canada or Eastern Ontario is in Ottawa. So it's, uh, I'm very lucky as a, as a craft beer drinker. Definitely. Uh, I see the bottle shop starting to come up uh, in the Toronto region. Uh, is that something you're kind of very looking forward to? Um, it's a great opportunity for a business that can't serve people. So they're turning it into bottle shops. And it's a great way for a person to go and explore like a whole rainbow of breweries in one stop. So uh, I think it's amazing. Yeah, no, I'm very happy that I, I'm starting to see that. I saw there was Bev Bira and Bodega in Toronto. Yep, there's also a uh, fourth and seven. They also have a, a nice selection there all the time. Uh, it, it uh, I got to be honest. It seems whoever's in charge of, of alcohol in Ontario is very much about the people. So. Oh yeah, they they know <laughs> what they're doing. Yeah, it's that's great to hear. Do you have another plan giveaway anytime soon, or it's one thousand, then maybe two thousand, and? Yeah, we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes. If if we get there fast, maybe. But yeah, just look, look forward to to two thousand. And the growth's been very organic. You're not you're not uh, putting ads out or sponsorships or anything like that. No, again, this is all 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 organic. Or you know, uh, some other Instagrammers like, hey, you guys got to check out this guy. He's got some really cool photos. And then you know, you get like one, two, three. So. Yeah. No, share the love. It's great. Yeah. So I love it. Awesome. Um, I've got no other questions for you today. This has been a fantastic talk. I really appreciate you once again uh, taking time out of your day to speak with me. Uh, so let the viewers know where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at crafty underscore beer underscore nerd. Okay. We're going to add that in the show notes. So those who want to follow uh, Joshua afterwards, just click on the Instagram link and hit follow on the page when you have a chance. As for us, uh, allbeerinside.com is the website at all beer inside is on all social media. Uh, if you'd like to follow myself, it's at killer carpe diem. I do a once a week post about four different beers. I try on a Thursday night um that i gotta grow personally uh as well as for us i'm hoping the t-shirt shop will be up shorter uh sooner rather than later i should say uh it'll just be t-shirts mugs and and anything that's print on demand 
Uh, and as I say at the end of all episodes, drink craft, not crap.